Hey up troops, A little to here again with another video and we're here on Chalet to go through another defensive setup guide on where to reinforce, where to make rotates, lines of sights and more importantly, why do we do that and what benefit does it have to us as a defender? That's enough waffling, we don't need to talk about it anymore, let's get stuck into it. So we're going to start with basement then on Chalet and we'll go through the reinforcements first. We've used eight, the two long wine walls, the two side wine walls. The hatch in connector. The two main breach walls or snowmobile breach walls. And then finally, the right hand side wall of dining when you look at it from here. Now, one thing I've not reinforced yet, which I would do potentially if I was you, is this wall. And we will talk about this shortly. I'm just going to do the um, lines of sights and rotations, and then we'll talk about this wall. So, in terms of rotations, I think personally, everybody else makes the reinforcement this side of the wall. I think, personally, the reinforcement is better on this side of the wall. Couple of reasons. One, you're a little bit further away from the angle when you're peeking it. If you're peeking the breach or if you're peeking main stairs. It's always better in Siege to be further away from the angle when you're peeking things because there's less of you visible. So, let's just say we were using this angle here as an example. If we wanted to hold onto the breach from here, we'd be much better off holding the breach from here. Like this rather than right up against the door frame. Same again for here. Rather than holding this right up against the door frame, there'll be more of you on display here. If you move back like this, it's the same angle, but there'll be less of you on display. It's just the way the angles and um, perception work in Siege. So, the reason I like putting the rotate this side is because you can tuck into here without getting swung from blue. If the rotate goes on the other side, it's easy when they come down from blue to get an angle onto that. Um, the reinforcements on this, like I say, we'll talk about. The other lines of sight that you want are going to be upstairs. Now, don't reinforce this hatch. Open that hatch and play somebody upstairs. That's why we reinforced the wrong way. Sorry, that's why we reinforced this wall. So now we can play in here. We can open a line of sight there. We open this hatch. Then we open some holes here. And finally, make a little rotate just here. Oh, it needs to be a little small one just to get between sides. If you're getting pushed from here, you can go this way. I didn't mean to do that. I've just fat fingered my mouse there. Ignore that hole. That hole doesn't exist. Apologies. So here, you can hold the trophy jumping. You can hold solar stairs if anyone pushes down. But the big thing is from here, this is the main wall that people are going to try and plant on if they push this side of the map. If they don't push this side of the map and they push the main breach, obviously you can ignore this. But for an attacker, having this hatch open doesn't really help much. Like, you can't get much of an angle to the back of the site, like, just about on the pillar, maybe. It's not a great, um, it's not a great angle for an attacker to have. So opening this hatch doesn't really do the attackers a favor. Uh, now we can also hold from here the, um, fireplace stairs, main door. And then, of course, round onto blue as well. So playing somebody upstairs is really, really important. Just a quick one. This is not related to mute, but if you open this... And if you're playing Cade, if th you throw your Cade down there, right at the bottom of where that table meets, you'll end up reinforcing both of these walls, and the Cade will be above. So just a little tip there, you can get the you can reinforce these walls by putting the Cade at the far end of that table. In terms of where you want to play and lines of sight and what you want to defend, this is an important wall. Let me just open this, and then we can decide if we want to reinforce it. Reinforcing this wall... Sorry, I just had to cough away from the mic there. I'm keeping that in. I'm not editing that out. Reinforcing this wall can make things difficult when this breach gets opened. Because if, let's just pretend this is reinforced. Attackers run, they smoke off this door and they smoke off blue door. You run to here and you start planting in this corner. The only way you can stop the plant is by peeking this door or by peeking blue door. Assuming no one's main stairs, obviously. And also... It means you've got less options to shoot on to, to fight onto the breach. If this is open, you can peek from here, you can peek from here, you can even peek from here, but obviously you're going to have to cross that. Whereas if that isn't the case, you can only peek from the rotate or from the door, and it's easy for attackers to hold it. I like being aggressive more like this. The only problem is like this, obviously, is if the breach is open, anyone who's on the breach can see most of the way to the back line, so it, it can be difficult to hold. I personally like opening it and being a bit more aggressive. However, 99% of the time, 99 times out of 10, oh, wait, oh, we haven't said that for a while, it gets reinforced. So if you do reinforce that wall, I don't think it's a terrible decision. Obviously, it's up to you how you want to play. 
Uh, yeah, remember to place somebody upstairs. That's critical. And let me just show you um, something here on blue. You can get a really nice Valtcam in behind this stag deer here. And once you're up here, you can't see the Valtcam as you come down. And then as soon as you get here, obviously, you're obvious on the Valtcam. Blue is a critical place to play. It's always fun putting a an Echo Drone or even a Maestro Cam works doing this, by the way. Put a Maestro Cam here, like this side of the drone hole. Um, one, you can see a bit of the door as well, and it's quite well hidden on the floor. But two, you can see blue as well, so you can see if anyone's coming down. Not an easy site to defend compared to a lot of other sites, but I do feel like this is the best one on the map. Uh, potentially, bar is slightly better, but only when you're in a well, well-coordinated five. For most of the time playing ranked, this is going to be your strongest site. I think upstairs isn't great, um, but that's just an opinion, obviously. But hopefully that helps. Um, we'll move on to top four. So moving on to the top four around master and office, then we've reinforced seven things. Um, and the two main office walls... The right-hand side office wall, when you're looking down towards blue stairs and library, and we'll talk about that in a second. We've then got the right-hand side master wall to solarium. The left-hand side of this wall, the right-hand side of that wall, which both go to bathroom. And then finally, this wall out here on Mez. Now, let's start with this wall. This area here is a pretty key part of trying to defend this side because that's where most of the plant's going to come. Sometimes the attack comes from the solar side, Solarium, but most of the time the attack's going to come from Library and through this double window on Mez, open this wall. That's the plan. The longer that you can hold this area, the better. Now, it's it's a thankful, t uh, a thankful, thankless, thankful, thankless. It's a thankless task holding this area because you're going to get pushed from here you're going to get pushed from there. You're going to get pushed from here. You're going to get pushed from the stairs. You're going to get pushed from this window. And you're going to get pushed from the stairs down here as well. It's not an enjoyable place to be. You want to be picking like an Azami or a Wamai or even a Jaeger who can try and catch the throwables that are going to get launched at you. But the point is, you use this reinforcement as a way of... as a way of defending into library. So now you can see that window. You can see the window here if they jump in. We can now peek this. Um, you can also hold this door down onto library from here as well. Um, the library stairs or blue stairs, which is a nice little angle here. Attackers never look at this on the way up the stairs. When attackers are coming upstairs, the place they're looking is right here. They never, ever look there. It's such a nice little angle. Um, but it's a, a critical place to hold on to. If you can hold here for like a minute or a minute and a half, destroy three or four drones, absorb some utility, and then somehow get away... Whether you maybe drop down or whether you run would run back to side through the double door here. However you get away, try and get away. Or just play your life, try and get a kill and then die. It's not an easy place to place, but it is, it's imperative that somebody does play here. Even if you just stay here and destroy the hard bridge that gets thrown onto this wall at the start of the round, you'd be doing a job as well. So if you give it up, giving the, the top of Mez here control over within the first minute makes the job for the attackers so much easier. So you've really got to try and battle to hold on to this. Just look out for drones along this ridge here. As you can see, there's a ridge here where drones are placed all the time along there. So watch out for that. And um, and yeah, play there as long as you can. Then, in the site itself, we've got a line of sight here. This is used for two things. One to play whilst this wall is still reinforced it will ultimately get open generally speaking unless the other team somehow managed to cock up opening a wall um whilst that wall's still closed you can hold this to hold on to the like top of mez to library down onto blue stairs and onto the window here it's a really really strong place to be obviously you can bob out that side as well you can also challenge onto the balcony Really, really good place to be. And the other thing it benefits um, when leaving this wall soft. This wall used to be reinforced when people first started playing Shelley, but then they realized it was a mistake. So the other thing this wall is good to keep soft is the plants. Well, generally, this wall will get opened. People are going to try and plant behind the half wall here. If that is happening and you're in piano and you're holding a bit of an angle here, as the plant's going down, obviously, you've got to make sure this way is clear first. You can come to this side and try and deny the plant from there as well. If, they, if that's reinforced, the only way you can stop the half-wall plant is from here by getting a C4, but you're probably going to be holding from this door. 
It's just not an easy place to stop the plant going down if they get to there without having these walls open. Over in Solarium. We've got to make two rotates on the way over. One there. And one here. Now, just be conscious of not to pass by Big Window once the round starts. This is what they call Big Window, Double Master Window, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people are going to be repelling here, just holding a tight angle like this you know, from the, the rotate towards piano, or even just holding this door, hoping to try and get a kill where somebody just sort of forgets a little bit and goes, well, I need to get back to the other side of sight. Right, okay, let me get across there now. And then as soon as they cross the window, you're dead. So just be mindful of that. Listen for the repel sound. If you don't hear the repel sound, maybe it's safe to cross, but I'd really recommend not crossing that throughout the round. This rotate here enables you to get from the back of Master to piano so you can hold piano where you don't have to cross that window if that rotate isn't there if that isn't there the only way you can get back past towards the other end of master is passing this window which obviously you don't want um, i also make a bit of a line of sight from about um here let me just get i think the the line we, the hole we want is about there and then when we're in solarium we make these holes here to hold on to master from this area. You can see now from that angle, we can see the balcony door. Nice little angle. Um, but also, what you're going to do sometimes is the attack comes from the solar side. So you've got solar stairs and the two solar windows. So playing behind this just means that you're giving the attackers something else to think about. So you're not always... Just, again, if you were to reinforce this, I know I keep saying the obvious here, but I'm just going to carry on explaining the obvious. If you reinforce that wall, the only place you can peek solar windows from is here. Or here. And it's easy for the attackers just to hold an angle on this door frame and then nobody can get in or out. Whereas having that open means you can peek it from both sides. Then over in bathroom, there's one more line of sight that I make, which is just like this. And then this area here is a real power place to be. It's difficult to get the defenders out of this area. Um, they can hold the stairs from here. You can hold solar windows from here. You can hold master window from here, bathroom. You can also then peek bathroom from here or the line of sight we just made from here. It just means, again, you're giving attackers something else to think about because you could be peeking from both sides. When it comes to placing shields, you can place one along here and then play behind this bootcase so you're protected from the big window. And you can then play on some piano double from here. Just watch out for the uh, bathroom window because you can get shot from that angle if I show you. Um, you can get shot on the angle on the door. There's a really tight angle. You, have been spotted by hostiles. you can Fall see there, back. there's a really tight angle that you can hold onto that door. Which some people do. You'll get somebody who sits there with an ACOG and just holds it all around and waits for somebody to stand here. And then they melt you. Not an ideal. Um, you can also place a shield here, which is another nice spot. Just slightly in front of this line here. Just here means you can play here holding the piano double on this don't worry you're not in the way of the window here because you're protected from this but if you're playing here you've got to remain tied to this wall the whole round you can't peek out that way because you can get smoke from the window so just play there and then it also means from here you can peek around onto the breach as well and half wall and deny plants if you need to but yeah that's how i play this site this is the next best site on the map in my humble opinion it's a fun side to play but i think the win condition for the attackers it's just getting this wall open and it makes life a little bit easy for the attackers easier than it does downstairs because once this wall's open it's quite difficult to hold this area you'll see a lot of defenders playing here which is like a sort of almost like a death wish like holding this door and then holding the breach here and just trying to deny the plant it's not an easy place to play once that breach is open but it's somewhere that's strong and it means at least there's pressure still going onto the onto the breach wall here but just remember as a defender that you're doing a job which would irritate the attackers even if you're not peeking and getting kills. You don't have to keep peeking. You don't have to keep putting your face in a door. If they've droned you out and you're playing here, that's a problem that they've got to solve. And don't give them the easy way out by putting your face in a door and letting them solve that problem easily for free. Just carry on sort of using time to your, to your advantage and use your utility as well, whether it's C4, if you're playing smoke or whatever it is you're doing. Just don't give away your life too easy and just play here and be a problem for them. If you want to play here, obviously, or you can go anywhere else, but that's generally another power position to play right there. On to the next site, which is actually my favourite to play for some reason on Chalet. I don't know why I really like playing it, but it's dining and kitchen. So, 
Reinforcements we've used eight. We've got two here, which is the dining wall through to the main lobby fireplace area. The one left hand side wall next to it, and I'll tell you why we only do one in a second. We've then got the one wall at the bottom of West Main here. Uh, also, top of West Main, sorry, which looks towards solar stairs. Oh, yeah, sorry. And one wall here in the right hand side wall when you're looking out from kitchen. So that's one, two, three, four. Is that right? One, two, three, four, yeah. Then upstairs. We've got the left hand side wall from master towards office. And we've got the two walls like we did on the previous side from office out onto the mez. So the area upstairs, this basically, the, imagine the side that we just looked at. This room here is what's above dining. And this room here is what's above kitchen, essentially. It's a bit bigger. It stretches out a little bit further, but that's basically the, the way you want to think about it. So you've definitely got to defend upstairs here heavily. Um, and you've got to use the, the sort of setup to defend upstairs. Um, we don't put rotates here. We're going to sort of defend this room a little bit, like shoot the odd drone that comes underneath here. It might end up breaching this or pushing piano windows. And then we're going to fall back to around the master solar area around here. And then defend from here and defend onto the down onto West Main. But let's get into some rotates and lines of sight. Rotate. We're going to want one just here. Obviously to go between sites. And then one in the same way to go between here and West Main as well. Then the wall we talked about earlier where we only re reinforced one side. That's because we're going to put a feet holes here. And that just means you can now defend down here around this area and you can, sh as you'll see their little feet come across there, you can shoot them as they come across. They're never going to be able to see you at the back of there when they come past. You know, you're pushing down here, you're looking at this door, by the time you get here you're going to get melted because the person who's just sat where we were over in the corner sees your little feet. Then, we want one here. And this is so anyone in trophy can hold on to West Main. Or anyone coming down solar stairs can also hold to West Main as well. We want to put holes for the trophy jumping. So this is trophy window here. We put holes there because you're going to be playing generally behind this area here. This is a really strong position to be playing here, by the way. Uh, and you can stop anyone from just jumping in trophy. They're not going to be able to look at you as fast as you can shoot them when they come through that window. This is a hot area. People enter from here all the time. Being able to hold trophy window will do you wonders. If you reinforce these, you give away trophy for free. And it makes life a little bit difficult for you. Upstairs, we want to make a hole to hold the trophy window from upstairs. Bear with me. Just reload this. So here, you want to be able to make a hole there so we can hold trophy window from above. We then want to make a hole here. Which you see, you can see the window at the bottom of West Main. This is another popular area to enter. And again, the other window at West Main is here. And you don't get a great angle onto this. You'll just be able to see the barricade. You can't quite see it. Oh, you can there. You can just see the barricade underneath. But if anyone jumps in, you'll be able to see them. Give the call out and get some damage done to them. It's not an easy angle to hold. But if you sort of tuck into this area here... When the guys come through that barricade, they're going to have to walk down to this area, so you can just hold here instead if you want to. Um, in terms of other lines of sight, don't make lines of sight here, although you might do that later in the round. Keep the hatch soft. The idea is that we're going to hold above for as long as possible. Uh, if we need to drop the hatch, we can open it and drop, um, but also we want to try and deny the plant from above if we can. Um, the push is going to be like two or three men above, two below generally. Something you've got to really watch out for as a defender is the plant that comes into dining from main lobby. This bomb is a really useful thing to plant behind. Sometimes they'll open this wall, smoke off that door, smoke off that door, and then just walk in behind and plant behind the bomb because it is a nice place to plant here. You've got loads of decent cover. So if that does happen again, whoever's playing upstairs, you need to make holes just above there in office just to keep your eyes peeled for what's going to happen below. You're going to need the call from your teammates to know if that's happening, though, obviously, because you're fighting your demons upstairs as well. That's pretty much it. You've got, you defend it from above with at least two blokes, maybe two or three, 
and then two, either two or three downstairs as well. Uh, obviously not three upstairs and three downstairs, because that makes six, and that isn't right. So yeah, you know, obviously work the split out. They're the holes that we made, by the way, to hold this window. Yeah, really, really fun side to hold. I really enjoy playing it. There's loads of ways of retaking the site if you need to. Use this as cover as well from the rotate here to defend into lobby if you need to. But yeah, I really enjoy playing this site. I would play this site first, I think, if it was up to me, but I understand the other ones are slightly better when you're uh, when you're not playing as a five. But let's get on to bar, which is... The funny thing about bar, and we'll talk about this in a sec, is it's arguably the best site on the map. But I'm going to put it as the worst site on the map because it really takes coordination. And most of us only play ranked in like sort of twos and threes, maybe even solo queue at times. It's not often um, that we play in a five stack. Even if we do play in a five stack, we're not a sort of coordinated five that have been practicing for weeks. But anyway, that's Dining Kitchen. Let's get into the final site, which is Bar Games. On to the final site then. And first things first, shoot the f jukebox. Somebody commented on my last video and said it's getting annoying that you shoot the jukeboxes and radios all the time. Well, I'm just going to apologize, uh, but not apologize. I'm going to shoot the radio, the jukebox, the speakers on every single map, on every single video for the rest of the time. So I'm sorry about that, mate. Right then, so we've used eight reinforcements on bar games. We've used the one from bar stock, which goes towards the fireplace stairs. Reinforce that. The right-hand side of the bar stock wall, when you're looking out from bar stock, obviously the other way around, it would be the left-hand side wall. None of the bar walls, don't reinforce those. So that's two so far. We've then reinforced the two single walls from uh, bar two, three, and four there. And then we've reinforced the two end walls to office. Five and six. And then we've reinforced the single wall here, which is seven. And then the single wall from Mez on the right-hand side, which is eight. Now, this is the same setup as what we talked about when defending Master Office. You've got, if you spare, although it's even more important when you're defending this side, it's, it's critical to hold on to this for as long as you can, especially around that sort of um, Mez window area, which is where a lot of pressure is going to come from, and especially this area here. This window is going to be really important for the attackers because you generally, most people play a shield here. And they use this window to bring like Flores drones or Ash and Zof charges to get rid of this shield. This wall is a must. You've got to get this wall reinforced. It may get open throughout the round. Most good teams will try and open this because this corridor is really important to getting control of the site. So make sure we reinforce those walls. So you've got to hold on to your library for dear life. If you give up library, which you can do later in the round, but if you give up library, it makes it a lot, lot, diff a lot, lot more difficult. So hold on to it for as long as you can. You want to be opening that hatch and opening that hatch and playing up here for as long as you can. This is actually an insanely strong spot to play right here. Although you're going to need to play a Warden or you're going to need to play Wamai or Jaeger and just put three ADSs on the floor here or put magnets all around you and just hold on to this because you get the drop on them if they were to jump through here. And obviously you can swing this window as well. You're going to ask your teammates, if you are playing this corner here, you're going to ask your teammates below. They can hold that window from this door. So they can hold that there if, they, if someone jumps in for you as well and you only have to worry about this window. But again, like we've talked about thankless tasks, playing here is a thankless task, but it causes the attackers so much bother. And an uncoordinated attacking stack will struggle to get the person out of here as long as they're properly protected, i.e. Warden or Wamai or Jaeger or someone who's just not going to get flashed and get taken out of there or someone who's not just going to get naded and taken out. What you can do as well from here is you can run along this wall here and drop, and there's only a tiny bit of you that will be seen from that window as well, so you can drop and get away generally. Um, then, like I mentioned, you want to be playing top blue. Um, you need This is a critical area to hold here. Again, you probably want a Wamai or Jaeger um, playing around here, or so at least someone with a shield that's protected by an ADS or two. You also want to... I, like re I haven't reinforced it, but I like reinforcing this wall as well reason being is if they get control of dining they make a line of sight here you can see into a lot of the site and a lot of the site corridor from here so i like reinforcing this as well obviously it's up to you what you guys want to do one thing not to neglect on this site is playing below um a lot of attackers are going to come through the snowmobile breach or come through trench and then walk up here and it happens all the time that somebody nobody watches bottom blue somebody creeps up bottom blue here Crouch walks across here, Crouch walks into the site, and before they know it, they've been smoked. So just make sure that you're watching up the bottom of the stairs as well, which is really important. Um, that's about it, really. It's not. I don't think it's a particularly complex site, although 
I think it can be if you if you just go into a random five stack and play this site, it's really difficult to play in my opinion. We want a line of sight here, by the way. Wait. So you can play behind this reinforcements, hold on to there, and the default plant spot behind that wall. Oh yeah, we haven't mentioned the other lines of sight. Come on, Andy, pull your finger out. You want to rotate at each end of the bar. Rotate at each end of the bar. And then feet holes. Along the bar. Just so if anyone drops, they can, so a lot of attackers will try and drop this hatch and plant behind the bar. But it means you can stop that if you need to. And you can see anyone that's going to be behind the bar through these feet holes. Some people like reinforcing behind the bar. I don't personally like doing that. Um, in terms of rotates upstairs... There aren't that really many to make, I don't think. You can make... Um, oh, sorry, I've forgotten to reinforce the wall. Apologies. Reinforce this wall as well. That's my bad. So when you play mesh, you've got that one reinforced and that one reinforced. Um, the only re the rotate I'll make is for roaming. This is not for anyone who's playing near side. This is just for your roamers. Make a, light, uh, a rotate here so they can get between those two areas without having to go through piano if they need to. Just makes life a bit easier for them but whether you're going to do that when you're going to run all the way up here to make that rotate for them when they they could well have impacts or a shotgun after playing lesion it's up to you and discuss with your team that's about it really um again hold on to this area you playing in stock is super important which is here this area here is massive just be careful for attackers who come up from basement this is a classic by the way they come up from basements and they'll have a Maverick who's going to make a line across the bottom of that wall and somebody else has stood here waiting for Maverick and they shoot off the ankles of whoever's stood in stock because um, the, the Maverick torch is not particularly loud and all of a sudden they see the wall getting mapped and before they know it they've lost the shins so just watch out for that if you can again that'll play into the fact that you can't ignore the basements on this side you're going to have to have somebody down there so you have to have somebody basement you're going to have to have at least two top four maybe three and then you're going to have to have two on side perhaps um, depending on how you want to do the split. Arguably the one of the strongest sites, but certainly the, the hardest to play unless you're all coordinated with what you're doing. So there we have it. That's how to set up and defend all sites on Chalet. Got to be a top five map for most people, I would say, at the moment. I don't know many people that don't like Chalet. It's a fun map to play. It's a fun map to defend. And it's a fun map to attack as well. It's just a really well-balanced map all round. So hopefully that gives you some insight and some help on when it comes to defending Chalet across all sites. Thanks as always to everybody who's watched the video. I really appreciate it more than I can say in 30 or 40 seconds at the end of each video, but I appreciate everyone that likes, comments, subscribes, etc. and all that sort of good stuff. I really appreciate everybody who gets involved with the channel. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.